This is your Lake City Animal Shelter Volunteer Weekly Update. These are the forever homes the week of April 4th, 2016. Help needed. We still need volunteers for the Galveston Island Bark in the Park event that will be um, an adoption event on April 30th. Um, the time for the actual um, Bark in the Park is from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We do have to meet at the shelter for 7.30 because we have to be set up um, at Bark in the Park at Kepner Park in Galveston Island by 9 o'clock. So we need to be here at 7.30 so we can load up and be done by 8, 8.15 get there and try to be ready to set up um, and get done setting up by nine o'clock so um, the earliest I have everybody meeting is at the shelter at 7 30 so keep that in mind but we do still need volunteers to help with that for shelter news um, as everybody's already know that we have canceled all canine companionships until April 23rd due to an outbreak of illness so um, all shifts have been removed from the my volunteer page and including any other events such as our dog washing event has been canceled um, PetSmart uh, we will try to resume with cats only this weekend if volunteers are available um, so please let me know uh, PetSmart crew if you're interested in going to PetSmart this Saturday or this Sunday um, so we can bring cats only. Um, you can sign up on the My Volunteer page or just shoot me an email. For volunteer opportunities, we do have the upcoming meetings. Um, we have the quarterly volunteer meeting. That's where all volunteers are welcome. That'll be April 18th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Lake City Civic Center. Um, and then we also have the quarterly mentor meeting. So this is for mentors only, which means you have to be a level two feline friend or a level four canine companion in order to um, come to this meeting. And that'll be May 16th, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Um, it will also be at the Lake City Civic Center. Um, and just to let you know, there has been some changes to both of the agendas um, mainly for the mentors we have added the FLCS financial report so kind of keep that in mind um, and, and the official agenda will be sent out sometime this week for both for community outreach special events, we have the Autumn Leaves where we visit every fourth, uh, every memory care facility every fourth Tuesday of the month. And the next visit will be Tuesday, April 26th, as long as everything stays okay here at the shelter. Um, we're, like I said, we are hoping to resume adoptions and canine companion all other shifts on April 23rd. So as long as everything goes smoothly, we'll be able to do Autumn Leaves on the 26th. For adoption events, like I mentioned before, we have the Galveston Island Bark in a Park on April 30th. And for volunteer spotlight, let everybody meet Pamela. So Pamela started volunteering at the LCAS in March of 2016, um, and she's very much a devoted canine companion volunteer. Um, she had her own equipment, her own leash, her own apron ready to go when she started uh, volunteering here. Um, she's also already moved up to a CC level two pretty in less than a month. She's taken her classes, done everything she needs to do. Um, she is a fantastic volunteer and very devoted to the animals. So thank you so much, Pamela, for being an awesome LCAS volunteer. And also, I like to give a shout out to all of our volunteers that come here at the Lake City Animal Shelter. Y'all are amazing volunteers. We couldn't do anything that we do without y'all. Um, this is Volunteer Appreciation Week, so I hope everybody was able to see the video that was made um, and dedication of y'all and all of the work that you do. So a big thank you to everybody who volunteers here, whether it's... Um, one hour a week to 50 hours a week y'all are amazing and we couldn't do anything we do without you so thanks and that's it i hope to see y'all all next week um and we will hopefully get everything straightened out here and we can start back to our regular volunteer lives so thank y'all and see you soon